First of all, what is lightning? Light lightning is an atmospheric discharge of electricity and it's accompanied by thunder or uh, a very loud sound. Uh, a bolt of lightning can travel at the speed of 60,000 meters per second or 60 kilometers per second, very, very fast, and heats up the air uh, to up about 30,000 degrees Celsius. 30,000 degrees Celsius, that's roughly five times the temperature of the sun's surface. Now, how lightning forms is still uh, a matter of debate. Scientists do think that it could be from atmospheric uh, perturbations like wind, humidity, friction, atmospheric pressure. pressure. Some scientists speculate that uh, the solar wind and the accumulation of charged particles uh, can trigger uh, lightning as well. However, uh, the, the uh, ice crystals that form in a cloud are supposed to be a crucial element of, of lightning. Now, there's a lot to be said about lightning. However, I'm going to focus about one uh, aspect of lightning. There are two types of lightning. Actually, there are way more types, but these two are fundamentally different. 95% uh, of lightning is called negative lightning, and that's where negative charges will discharge into the Earth. Only about 5% of lightning are called positive lightning, and that's when a positive charge is discharged. Uh, positive light lightning is about 10 times more powerful, stronger than, uh, than negative lightning, and it's sometimes called a bolt from the blue. Now, why is that? Uh, these bolts of lightning can form uh, uh, from the anvil-shaped anvil cumulonimbus clouds, and it forms at the horizontal bar of the top of the anvil. And as the lightning bolt forms, the leader, uh, the, the leading strike, travels horizontally initially, and then it gradually arcs towards the Earth. Uh, these bolts of lightning can strike up to 30 kilometers away when you don't even know that there is a storm coming, and the amount of energy that they release is absolutely humongous. Now, what can we do to protect ourselves in a thunderstorm? Well, we can do a lot. First of all, there's a rule of thumb, and it says when it roars, go indoors. So, shelter yourself, uh, get into a house, into a mall, if you can. However, sometimes that's not a possibility. You're in the open field, you're in the woods. Uh, if you're outside, it's pretty safe to go into your car. Now, the car will act as a cage. It's called a Faraday's cage. So if a lightning bolt strikes a car, it, uh, the electricity will flow on the outside. However, you should not touch any metal parts of the car. If you hold on to the steering wheel, which is usually plastic, you are fine, but you should not touch any metal parts. Uh, if you're swimming, if you're in the water, get out of the water immediately. If lightning strikes water, the water being conductive, you can get a very nasty uh, jolt. If you're outside on an open field, avoid to be the tallest object. Okay? There is no uh, conclusive proof that a tall object will actually uh, attract lightning. Uh, according to Dr. Mary Ann Cooper from the University of Illinois, she says nothing attracts really lightning. Metal does not attract lightning. However, it is more likely that if you are taller, a bolt of lightning may hit you. So if you're in an open field, basically try to crouch down and kind of make yourself as flat as possible. Do not lie down on the wet ground. Again, if the lightning bolt strikes the ground somewhere and you're lying with a large surface, uh, there's more likely that some electricity will get into your body. Um, how the, I, I mentioned how lightning forms, but maybe in a little bit uh, more few de uh, details. Uh, lightning forms when ice crystals within a cloud start uh, rubbing towards each other, very much like taking a balloon and rubbing it against your hair. That will build up a charge that is then discharged either between clouds or between a cloud and earth. Now, a lightning bolt, a lightning bolt may carry up to one million volts of electricity. And one million volts of electricity could turn on a 100-watt light bulb uh, for about three months. So there's a lot of electricity. Now, the good news, if you're hit, by a lightning bolt, 
the vast majority of that electricity is carried around your body, not through your body. You won't be fried. However, you will still sustain some injuries and they can be quite, uh, quite dangerous. For, exa for example, is the, 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 the best example is that your nervous system, your nerves, uh, will be injured. Uh, as a matter of, of uh, fact, a lot of people who survived uh, strokes of lightning, they complain of chronic pain. That's because their damaged nerves are constantly sending a signal to the brain, pain, 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 pain. Um, according to Environment Canada, lightning strikes kill about seven Canadians a year and injure about 60 to 70 Canadians. Um, the hotspot for lightning in Canada is Windsor, Ontario. So don't go to Windsor in a thunderstorm. So, just to conclude with this story and all my stories, just remember, when it roars, go indoors.